reporting live from Las Vegas. I'm here with the careful boys. Careful boys. Careful boys. We are careful. And we are carefully combing through the streets of Las Vegas for our new JK Films office. Is it over here? I don't know. Is it over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we are in plaza number one. It looks like a nice office building. Looks yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we're trying to find the real estate agent here and uh, mm, looks like a dental, like a dental just office. Dental vibes, yeah. yeah, dental office. This looks just like our other office. <laughs> it's blinking. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> oh, a little bit dirty. <laughs> it's not quite a box but it goes around like this. This is room number two, pink room. That already, it already has a table for the JK News. Oh yeah. yeah. So this is a conference table and a meeting room. It's not actually one of the offices. <laughs> All right, let's see. We could have our own secretary here. It'll be a man, of course. <laughs> It'll be a we don't allow girls yeah, we don't allow any women here. It'll be Nick yeah. in a bikini. Yeah, a good call. yeah, Nick in a bikini. Okay, so this is the space. Does it come with the couch? I'm just kidding. And this doggy toy? And this doggy stuff. What do you think, Bart? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Steve, is that Bitcoin mine? What the hell is that? Oh, that's wires. Is that? No. Okay. No. It's all in the network. It's just, it's just internet. Network. Is this guy running on some VPN operation? I wish. Kind of not sexy. The sexiest thing in here is the wire machine. So Steve had a really good idea to have six guys in that little space to do JK News Vegas just for the fun of it. Why not? And I think this is why it's dangerous to arm us with money because um, I'd actually do it just for that and then right. get another office space. JK News, the tiniest episodes ever, bro. And we could talk about tiny things. <laughs> tiny, tiny, yeah. tiny news. <laughs> Only the smallest news. Local. It's very local. We like to it's be very local. local. Yeah. Small, personal. Oh, we should shoot everything on an iPhone. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. This is an interesting location here. Look, this got some Stranger. Was it Stranger Things vibes? It's like an 80s situation. Um. Oh, I thought that was a, oh, it is a bar. It is a barred window, jail style. This one is the, All okay. of these rooms are part of the whole thing. Oh, okay, so it's not just, we were thinking it was just being this little corner. Some noise shit. But yeah, so this we, is actually good. Cause we could shoot back here where it's hella loud mm -hmm. and then do all of our illegal money laundering. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, this is good. But then there's, we have different sections. Oh, okay, because they didn't pay the electric bill, so the light doesn't turn oh, off, okay. I guess. So imagine, like, you're washing cash right here. <laughs> In the dark? Yeah. I just got my dream truck, and I'm happy, but super scared someone might just damage it when I'm not around. That's why I can't let this baby out of my sight. It's the most important thing in the world to me. You coming in? No. Thank God I partnered with Nextbase where they ensure protection even when I'm not present. All Nextbase dash cams comes with an intelligent parking mode which triggers recording automatically when motion is detected, keeping our car safe when left unattended. If the G4 sensor registers movement, the dash cam automatically turns on, records for three minutes and shuts down again, but I can continue to travel and enjoy life. We can also turn this on and off if you don't want to use this feature. But best of all, Next Base saved my relationship because I don't have to be the security guard for my truck anymore. So far, so good. What do you think, Steve? About this is what's up. I know. It's a shame that everything, they haven't paid the light bill. Because <laughs> damn, I want to see the other rooms. But this thing has about at least five rooms. Yeah. And we've been looking at uh, every single spot we've been looking at, it was like the size of this. But then this one has like five of this. And they say we could build, break down the walls. I could kick the living shit out of it. I could do whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really good. This whole thing is 1500. Oh my God. That's crazy. That's way cheaper than what we pay in LA. Really? Yeah. And this, in LA, when we first got our office, it was still more expensive than 1500. Yeah, now it's more. Yeah, and it's about a thousand square feet. This one is about 900, so. Dang, man. I know. Vegas, Viva La Vegas. Okay, here we go. This looks like a train station or something. <laughs> yeah. 
Feels like we're in a Harry Potter's train station. Has a very southwest feel. <laughs> Exposed beams. It smells like a new building too. Okay. And then there's a bathroom here. And then the kitchenette here. And then there's an extra room here. Breakfast at 1 p.m. Here we go. I got the burrito. Bart got this fancy freaking Hawaiian French toast sandwich. Yeah, it's a French toast sandwich. Never had one of those before. Steve got a hash brown. Roast beef hat. Corn beef hat. Beef hat. Yes, sir. All right. Bon appetit. Let's eat. That was the first round of looking for offices here in Nevada. Right now, I gotta get something for my personal office here in Nevada. I need a piece of wood for undisclosed reasons. I just do, okay? I need lumber. Every time I'm in the Home Depot, I feel like such a man. Especially with this tool belt right here. Look at this. I got a tool belt. Man shit. Peekaboo. This door reminded me of the old house I lived in, we had a door like this. Hi, neighbor. It's a very windy today. You know, it's been like a dust storm for the last several days. I heard that a lot of homeless people live in the ditches here, but I don't see none. But everywhere you look in Vegas, there's building. Look at that, homes building, man. Homes building, this is crazy. Now it's time for the business talk. All right, let's break it down. Why are we opening up? a business office space for JK News in Nevada. Well, for one, uh, me, Steve, Bart, we're already here, a couple of other people. We wanna have two different filming locations because we have over 20 friends that moved here from LA. Some people you might already know, they're on YouTube. I don't even know if they want you to know that they live in Vegas now, but some people, they're not here yet. They're on their way here. And I'm predicting that what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a big exodus of a lot more people from LA coming to Vegas, especially in the entertainment world. I heard uh, Mark Wahlberg, he just moved out here um, and he sold his $60 million mansion back in LA. So it's going to be a pretty big deal if it already isn't happening. So since we're already living here, it's gonna be a pretty easy setup where sometimes we'll film in LA, sometimes we'll film here in Nevada. And you might be wondering, what's the point of even having an LA office? Well, half of the Careful Boys, which are now regulars, and a lot of our guests, they still live in LA. So I can fly them out, but at the same time, it's not convenient when we get guests. A lot of them are central to LA or they're visiting LA. So unless we become Joe Rogan style and people can't wait to fucking fly all the way to Texas just to come to his show or whatever, or even like, I don't know, we're not at that level yet. Hannah's walking back and forth, contemplating life. Why did I do this? Why did I come to this desolate desert land? Another massive reason, and this one's huge, okay? Nevada is a no income tax state. It's zero income tax. So the way that the tax system works here in America, if you guys are foreign, or even if you're from a different state and you don't really know, well, one, there's federal tax, there's federal income that you have to, you know, give a portion to, and you know, it goes to all sorts of different things. And then there's the state income tax where, uh, a portion of that goes to, you know, whatever the state wants to spend it on. And California is the top in the nation. I think it's the top top. I don't know. I think it's up there. I think it's New Jersey and California, but they're out there and it's expensive. Especially someone who's in my bracket. I would say in my bracket, I'm about 5%. So um, as a single male, who baby? Oh no, should I get married just for low taxes? I don't know. What do you think? What? Should I get married for low taxes? Seems sensible. But all the income that I do make from California will be subject to income tax. But now, since JK News will be split up into two states, I'll only be paying income tax on the days that I'm filming in California. So it would heavily reduce my tax obligations. And on top of that, I could do a lot of the work out here in Nevada so I can claim a lot of my business income in Nevada. Man, Vegas, you know what? 
Not bad. You got a green lake. I like it. But Joe, aren't you opening up a business in Hawaii? Actually, yes, that is very, very true. If you remember that, I'm trying to dodge geese shit. There's geese shit all over the ground right now. But this is very true. Uh, and that will be subject to Hawaii's income tax because the money that you make in the state, you'll have to report it and pay that state's taxes because that's how the state collects revenue and then spends it on different things like building a bridge or something on the roads or a politician stealing it some way. But you know, that's just how the game goes. Are you a geese or a duck? Thank you very much. Hi. He's not scared. No, they bite you though. Are those a geese or a duck? Is he gonna bite me? They do bite. Nick in a bikini. And another thing is, I'm gonna be getting into another interesting business adventure here in Vegas where we will be using one of the offices to mine some wonderful crypto. Mm hmm. It's gonna be great. So, this is just pretty much part one of office searching. We're probably going to do a couple more. Um, next time, I think I'll show more into detail, but these spaces are pretty small and it's just like empty rooms. So it's not that exciting. Uh, but I do want to tell you guys the behind the scenes thought process because I said that I would start talking more about this stuff. I thought it would be boring because in most cases, I thought you guys just want to see me mess around and whatever. But if this stuff is really interesting to you, then leave comments down below. Uh, ask me to elaborate ask me to you know hey can you go back and talk about that one thing and um, I'll make note of it and then on the next vlogs to come I will address it another good thing though I would have to add is Vegas real estate is still very cheap commercial stuff the office space all that is very very good in prices compared to LA I mean for example, our thousand square foot office, it's not even in LA, it's around 2000 something a month. Um, but out here, it's gonna be under 2000 bucks. And we gotta get them pretty quick because as COVID and all these restrictions are ending, uh, people are finally starting to come out and buy offices to work and whatever. And uh, people are starting to, I guess, not work from home as much. So the commercial real estate industry got hit pretty bad during COVID where a lot of the office spaces no one really needed everyone was like working from home everyone was like why am i gonna waste rent on this spot so there was a lot of vacancies and uh right now they're starting to like pick back up but still vegas compared to la it's even if it's like i don't know maybe higher price for the locals it's still a great price for us anyways dudes so me and hannah we like to do this thing where we walk around enjoy our time together spend a little bit of breaks and we do this a lot but we've been walking a lot like old folks highly recommend it if you guys have a park if you guys have a trail if you're lucky enough for that and if your park isn't riddled with danger and gang members shooting dice smoking crack maybe i mean maybe you like that stuff because it's really fun and all and i know i can't judge because i grew up around that but if it's safe enough just do it and enjoy it i guarantee you you're just gonna be like, mother! I should have fucking done this shit earlier in life. Oh my God, look at the tree. That's a tree. That looks like a Christmas tree. That's a wonderful, that's grass, baby. Oh my God. Oh, this is so amazing. No wonder the older you get, the more you enjoy parks, plants, and green shit. I don't know what it is, but I never gave a damn about this stuff earlier. And, and maybe because I just didn't know that this stuff was missing in my life but I do appreciate it now. And now I understand what work-life balance is. Just go out, breathe that air, walk around, look at the trees and enjoy yourself. Okay, till next time. Peace. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese. Birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese.